Hi everyone, sunshine is turned on. It is a glorious day and it's the perfect opportunity to invite you on a tour of some of our favorite parts of the east coast of Ibiza. So right now I'm strolling through the grounds of the iconic Puig de Mista church. It dates back to the 15th century, so it's a great place to come and immerse yourself in some history or just take in some unbelievable views. It feels like from here I can see half of the island and it's going to be this east coast of Ibiza that we're focusing on today. For me, the east coast is all about family-friendly vibes, some of my favourite places to eat and drink, the best beaches in Ibiza and perhaps most importantly, the vibrant town of Santa Eulalia, one of the best in the Balearics and it feels like a good place to start. Follow me, we'll go have a look. Here we are, still under the gaze of the wonderful Puig de Mista Church. Now above me, I've brought myself down to the fantastic town of Santa Eulalia. The third largest town within Ibiza and really the epicenter of everything that's happening on the East Coast. It's centered around this expansive paseo here. I've got bustling cafes to one side of me, boutique shops to the other, and more established commercial names on the high streets. So this is a real hub of economic activity and a meeting point for locals and tourists alike. And importantly, for an island often associated with our summer-only activity, it's a real year-round destination. For us residents, we love it. Right, I'm gonna get closer to the water. Now, any great seaside town needs a great seaside. And here in Santa Eulalia, we've got a gorgeous stretch of sand that goes all the way from the marina at the northern end of the town, down all the way to Siesta, the village at the southern end of Santa Eulalia. And what's more, all the way along this promenade, we've got a selection of fantastic restaurants, cafes, watering holes. So whether it's a leisurely brunch, a long lunch, an evening drink, or an upmarket meal that you're after in Santa Eulalia, everything is catered for. Speaking of which... Definitely a day to keep hydrated. So here I am, I'm in Calabasa Beach Club here, or CBBC, Santa Eulalia branch, and we are located right within the port Surrounded by the glitz, the glamour, the luxury of the yacht, it's just a fantastic place to be. It's a relative newcomer to the wining and dining scene within Santa Eulalia. And believe me, the food is excellent, the refreshments are great, and if nothing else, it is an absolute winning spot to take in the beautiful surroundings. Give me 10 minutes, that's exactly what I'll be doing right now. rested and refreshed, it's time to move on. Now we've caught a glimpse of the wonderful Central Alia, but there is far more of the East Coast to see. So now we are gonna make the short hop up the coast to the charming village of San Carlos. Follow me, let's go. So San Carlos is only a few kilometres up the coast from Santa Eulalia and it is connected very conveniently by one straight road. We're going up there now, we'll be there uh, in no time at all, but it gives me 
quick opportunity to talk about one of my favourite things, beaches. Of course beaches are my favourite thing, I live in Ibiza. But I said earlier in the film, this stretch of coast has some of my absolute favourites. Now we've seen in Santa Olalla itself a fantastic beach, which is pretty unique in that it's um, on the doorstep of the town centre. As we bounce up this, uh, this stretch of coast, you know, we're met with a succession of beautiful coves and sandy bays that are often less busy, arguably better for swimming, and are absolutely some of my favourites. So, first up we've got Niao Blau, which is a stunningly gorgeous golden sandy cove that has one of my favourite beach bars on there, overlooking the sea, uh, a firm favourite of mine for drinks with friends in the summer months. Uh, from there we go on to Calapada. Calapada is my daughter's favourite beach, it's got this amazing long jetty that goes into the sea, she loves running down it and jumping into the water, it's great fun for the kids. We have Cala Martina which is superb for long lazy Sunday afternoon paella lunches and, um, and, and, and taking it easy, proper weekend vibes. We're then up close to San Carlos itself and we're up to the likes of Cala Nova arguably the beach I spend the most of the time with with my family actually. It has one of my favourite restaurants in the island at that beach, which obviously really helps. We spend a lot of time there. And then we're up into Catalonia, a deep sandy cove, lots of space for kids to run around, play games, you can hide pedlos, paddle boards, all type of thing there. And then actually once we're beyond San Carlos, Gosh, once we're beyond San Carlos, we're in things like Cala Bosch, Pudas Leo, Aguas Blancas, a fantastic beach which you get a little bit more surf on, especially in the slightly shoulder season months, hence the name, you know, a little bit more waves, you get some surfers up there as well. All the way up to Esfigaral, all the way up to Cala San Vicente. God, now I verbalise it and say it out loud, it makes me realise again how spoiled for choice we are for beaches on this stretch. On the east coast, life is a beach. Okay, so look, we've only been driving for a few minutes from Santa Eulalia and I'm just approaching San Carlos now. So it's super, super close. Just approaching the village right now. And what we're about to go past, which is definitely worth mention, is Las Dalias. Not open today, this is a weekend affair. And then in the summer, it's open one evening during the week or maybe two evenings. It's the biggest hippie market on the island. Big tourist attraction, but also still really popular with the locals as well. Really busy, great meeting point, great place to hang out of Saturday morning. And as you would have, uh, of course, imagine a fantastic place to buy um, local crafts, clothes, pieces of artwork, all of course with a hippie vibe. Las Dalias is the place to do that. There's another one quite close by as well, Punta Arabi Market in nearby Escanar. Also really good. Las Dalias is my chosen place to, to come to actually, it must be said. Here we are, welcome to San Carlos. And I tell you, every time I come here, I'm reminded about what a gorgeous village this really is. And how we're surrounded by lush green hills and rolling countryside literally all around us. The approach in San Carlos and the drive away from it is almost as pleasurable as the time spent here itself. But not quite, of course, because this is a really special place. In the 1960s and 70s, it became the true home for the hippies within Ibiza and still today it totally carries that vibe. The Las Dalias market that we drove past just a moment ago and the island famous Bar Anita in the corner of the village are two great examples of that. I always make a point of paying a visit to Bar Anita. When I come to San Carlos I'm sure today will be no different so we'll get there shortly for a cold beer and I'll tell you more about that place but first go and have a look at the village.
Okay, so I've made the short hop from the church to the centre of San Carlos and behind me I suppose you can see the high street. We don't really do high streets as such in this part of the world but you can see some of the nice relaxed low-key vibes and surroundings all around me. I've just walked past actually one of my favourite restaurants in the area, Carcarola, which does exquisite fresh food and also runs a brilliant kids corner in the summer months which is particularly useful. And behind me you can see a few more of the eateries that are around me. Relaxed pizzerias, traditional Spanish tapas restaurants and plenty of boutique clothes shops where you find all kinds of treasures that you certainly wouldn't find on the high street. We find a kids playground just here for the young'uns to usher themselves off to when the adults are getting a bit boring around the dinner table. But most importantly for me, maybe for them also, in my mind, one of the best ice cream parlours you'll find in the Balearics. I'm heading there right now, come and check it out. So here we are for a well-deserved caña in the famous Baranita within San Carlos. So I mentioned it earlier and if anywhere epitomises the fantastic hippie spirit of this pretty little village, it is Baranita. It's a real institution, you can see around me it's popular throughout the day and it's a place where locals, tourists have come to hang out and share good times for decades. Um, when the hippie revolution really took off in the 60s and the 70s, there were no telephones, for example, in the majority of the houses. The only telephone in the village was right here in the corner of the bar. It still works today. You can see plastered against the walls as well. We have all the mailboxes for the village as well. Living in the Campo, the countryside, difficult to get your mail delivered to the house itself. That will still apply today in certain places, I should warn you. So locals would have their mailboxes in Baranita. Again, it added to the feel of a meeting point and somewhere to congregate throughout the year. So here feels like the perfect place to say our goodbyes and thank you for joining me on this tour of the east coast of Ibiza. Now it goes without saying we have not scratched the surface of everything that the east coast does actually have to offer but hopefully you've got a bit of a feel for some elements of my favourite parts of this particular um, bit of Ibiza. Family friendly, great places to eat, fantastic beaches and stunning viewpoints I guess are how I'd summarise it the best but do please come, explore it for yourself and be more than happy to show you around when that time comes. It should also be worth mentioning as well that although you might not feel it from being in this village itself, around San Carlos itself specifically, some of the most spectacular villas on the island. We have a few of them for sale exclusively through Charles Milo Ibiza and I would love to show you around them. If you feel like becoming a San Carlos resident, it could be the next thing for you. I highly recommend it. So until I see you again on the next of our video tours or indeed our location shoots, I will bid you farewell. You can leave me in safe hands and I look forward to chatting again soon. Cheers to you all. <laughs>